as the question ever came to you, why would that person do that? That's common sense. I know we all had that question come to our mind, whether in the present or in the past or somewhere in between life. But check this out. We had that statement because we really believe and we think, and then this is a general sense, that that's common sense. How wouldn't that person know what to say, what to do, or how to think in that situation? And I'll tell you, common sense is not common. My common sense is different than your common sense. Now, we do have societal norms that are understood that we can believe in and that we can ascertain to be common sense. There are just some things that we know, and that's the key word, that we know intellectually, but do we really know behaviorally? Case in point, I've seen people walk and cross the street, and when you cross the street legally the right way, you press the button and then you wait. And as you wait, when the light prompts you to walk, in my city at least, it gives you at least 20 seconds to walk across the street. But there's many times that I see people just cross the street without pressing the button or cross the street looking down and not paying attention to what's ahead, ahead of them. We may think that pressing the button and waiting for those that prompt to light up and those seconds to start the countdown for us to walk across the street, we may think that's common sense, but it is truly not because even though we're aware of it, everybody don't practice it on a consistent basis. Therefore, they really don't know because we know by doing, we know by patterns of behavior that we operate in on a daily basis. So another part is when a person makes a mistake or when we find ourselves in conversations with each other as family or as friends and somebody that we're close to does something that we believe is, quotation marks, stupid or dumb, we cannot afford to make that assertion about this person's behavior, about their thoughts or actions, because though it may be common to us, it may not be common to that person. That person may have a different backstory. That person may have a different history and life experience, which influenced them to behave the way that they do in the present tense. Once we get away from assuming and thinking that common sense is common, guess what? Less stress, less conflict, less arguments, but the root of it is pride and equates to self-centeredness. Our worldview is not everybody's worldview. Our worldview is not universal in some instances. So I like this statement, and I may do an elaboration on it very soon. Asked, asked questions are better than assumed answers. Let's try to stay away from assuming what's common sense, because when we execute and operate in that way, we minimize stress, we minimize frustration, negative conflict, and arguments.